Let's see how it goes when I get towed by two untrained sled dogs. Ski dream. What's up, it's Brayden. As if you guys can't tell by my voice, I'm still very sick. Fingers crossed I get over this soon and I don't sound this nasally all the time. If you guys have any at-home cold remedies that you'd like me to try that you think would help, please like comment below. I'm kind of desperate to try anything right now. This is part two of the Colorado series. We are up here and I figured this is a really great opportunity to be able to tell you guys a little bit about my life. I was homeschooled and I was raised in Los Angeles but also had the opportunity to come up to the mountains in Colorado. So today's mountain adventures. I spent so much of my childhood up here in Colorado at this exact cabin that my dad built. He started building it in 1995, the year I was born. It is like a home away from home. Uh, we come up here to Colorado summers and winters uh, at least four to six times a year. This is such a special place to me. I am so excited to share it with you guys. I am titling this video Snow Dogs in honor of my two amazing Huskies, Mowgli and Manning. I wanted to show you guys Mowgli and Manning, but up here in my favorite place of Colorado. It's so gorgeous up here. Mowgli and Manning are truly in their natural element. So this little popsicle here has never seen snow before. Oh, she is going to see snow for her first time ever. Uh, we drove all night to get to Colorado. She's so excited. You can tell by her face, right? minus one minute. So we made it to the Rocky Mountains. It is about 12 degrees outside. We're in Colorado and the dogs got to see snow for the first time. Mowgli's been up here before in the winter so he's seen snow. But the other two dogs, these ones that are currently running sporadically, have never seen snow before. Manning, what is this? Manning, what is this? What is that? What is that? What is this, Odin? Your first snow too. Oh, that's nice. Good thing to do right there, Mo. Do you wanna go for a run? Come here. Do you wanna go for a run? Our pride and joy, our furry children, literally everything in my life is our dogs. This is not just my favorite place, but it's theirs as well. Manning, did you like your first snow? Here you go inside. Uh, they are two huskies that we have living with us in California, so they're used to beaches and hiking and more of like the sunny type of activities, but there's something about like the snow that just triggers something in their DNA. Uh, these are my dogs and they are going to uh, try something new today called ski-juring, ski-joring, ski ski-juring. So my dogs are pretty pretty well trained, you know, they can sit and stay, but they ain't sled dogs like they look. They've never pulled anybody on anything. This is gonna be a first time for a pull. Let's see how it goes when I get towed by two untrained sled dogs. Ski dream. All right, Mowgli. Manic, you ready? Go, go. Go. They don't really seem to be wanting to listen to me when I tell them to go. I don't know if there's like a secret word. Mush. Ha. Ah, go. Get fast. Take two. So excited for this video guys because I get to tell you guys about the pride and joy of my life. 
my dogs Mowgli and Manning. Slowest sled dogs in history. They are two huskies that are three and one year old. I got Mowgli from a friend of mine that I grew up with and he was just about six months old when I got him. Ever since the very first day when I went up to go meet Mowgli, Mowgli and I have honestly just been best friends. Mowgli has been there for me during a lot of the hardest transitions of my life. He's been the highlight of the last three years of my life, but he's been a handful. I was his third owner. He had gone through a lot of transitions uh, in his life already. He had really, really, really bad separation anxiety. Literally till this day has chewed probably about 13 couches, most of which were not mine. He's chewed two car interiors, numerous books, chewed my Bible. He has honestly been such a troublemaker. Uh, any of my friends that know me or know my dog can attest to that. About six months after I got Mowgli, I met my partner Andrew, and he and I have been together ever since. We're going on three years strong, so I consider him a shared dog between Andrew and myself. And we kind of started a little family with the three of us in a small townhouse apartment in Los Angeles, but it was just the three of us. And we were so happy. And I considered myself just so, so blessed to have somebody that I finally felt like loved me and I loved them. And it was my first long-term and also significant relationship. And I'm so grateful to still have Andrew. Mowgli was definitely a responsibility that Andrew and I both shared. And I don't say that lightly. I mean, it takes two people to really, really give a dog, especially a high-maintenance husky, the time of day that it needs. We run and or walk him at least twice a day. And even with that, he was still this demon of a dog. So when Mowgli was about two and a half years old, I had just accepted the job in San Diego working on the congressional campaign. It was really hard on him because we were moving to a new apartment and I was working a job seven days a week. We kind of realized the place of life that we were at and Andrew and I had a very serious conversation about whether we could handle it. Uh, we decided that we were going to go and adopt a second husky, which was a crazy idea at the time because one was already maxing us out and on the second day of our searching we found this gorgeous female dog named Manning. We read a lot that, you know, having a companion for that dog, especially one of the opposite sex, as long as they were both fixed, that way your two huskies don't turn into six like that. Manning is a year old. We've had her for about nine months, I think. She definitely brought this new playful energy. And the two of them together are like the most hilarious husky sibling duo. Mowgli's temperament honestly changed so much for the better. Manning is like the epitome of a dog who always just wants to be on your lap, touching you, getting some sort of affection. Mowgli, Mowgli's kind of like a cat. He wants it when he wants it. With that, they balance each other out a lot. Mowgli is this playful, funny, super weird personality. Manning is the sweetest dog you can imagine. She's overly affectionate. And with that, our family grew to four, Manning and Mo. Uh, yes, they have their own Instagram account. It's linked below if you really like dogs and want to follow it. Mowgli and Manning have been best friends with each other. They have been our children. They are stereotypical dogs that if they are uh, on a walk or on a run and they see a squirrel or something that resembles a squirrel or even a falling leaf, they will completely lose their minds thinking that it's a squirrel. They're each over 70 pounds and they can pretty much yank your arm out of socket if they pull hard enough. They are both just these incredibly sweet and affectionate dogs. They're great with kids. They love to hike, run, swim. They love long road trips. They both sleep with us in bed every single night. If we're ever out kayaking, they love to swim next to us. We were able to walk them off leash and they never run away. They both actually like to pretend that they are opera singers every once in a while. That's cute. I would say Mowgli is definitely the better singer out of the two. Uh, we are just blessed with really, really, really good dogs. They can pretty much do anything except for those dog agility courses. For some reason, Mowgli gets really intimidated by those and he can't do it. Honestly, at this stage of my life, I couldn't imagine not having either of those dogs be in my life. I'm so grateful for the fact that Mowgli helped me go through so much at such a young age, and I'm so grateful that Manning represented this uh, kind of completion of a family with uh, Andrew and I. These two amazing dogs, which yes, they are a ton of work and can sometimes chew things, they are still these incredibly loving creatures that I just am so grateful to have in my life.
you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about my Husky family. They will be in plenty of my videos in the future. I'm really excited for what 2019 is going to bring for my channel. Um, I have a lot of really cool stuff on the, on the horizon for you guys. So friends, please remember to subscribe to my channel. My channel is growing and I'm really, really excited. Comment below if you guys have any requests for me to do videos with the dogs. Keep these conversations going. I'm honestly really enjoying getting to know you guys. Make sure to stay tuned next week for part three of the Colorado series. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but someone gets married. I mentioned that it was going to be a four part series. I changed my mind, it's now three parts. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Set that little alert button there too so you know when that video comes out. Bye friends.